up tired as everybody. Friday afternoon. <laughs> Golly. All right. I'm going to do my best to make this as fast as possible and not drown on. If anyone wants to learn about our project, we can go deeper. My name is Will McDonough. I'll tell you a bit about my past and why I'm so excited about being involved in the blockchain and about building teams in this space. Um, I started my career in professional sports, worked for the New England Patriots for 10 years, ran all logo rights and licensing deals for the brand, started a management company representing Tom Brady, Giselle Bunchen, uh, the estate for Nelson Mandela. Uh, I started a debt and credit fund of funds in 2007, uh, raised $250 million, and then got recruited away to Goldman Sachs, where I built out a team and managed the private capital of the partners at Goldman focusing on uncorrelated asset classes for the partners. What that means is if you have Goldman stock and a Hamptons house and a New York City apartment and are a New York finance douchebag like many, many are, we have to find you ways to get you away from yourself. How can we get you away from yourself? Getting you away from yourself means not investing in correlated asset classes like U.S. equities, like financial services. We have to find you things that have more liquid structures and we have to find you things that will get you exposure to different markets. I left Goldman Sachs to partner with uh, executives from the World Bank, former CEO of Barclays, etc. And we created a SPAC to buy banks in Africa. A SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. Anybody that tells you that these token securities offerings that are going on today are new and scary, they're lying to you. SPACs have been around for 25, 35 years, and what they are is you put out a red herring, you put out a prospectus, it states your thesis in it, you raise capital into a cash shell that's freely traded on the London Stock Exchange or the New York Stock Exchange. You then have 12 months to implement that thesis and to acquire companies underneath that thesis from which time forward you're a freely tradable company. Does that sound familiar to anybody? A token securities offering is something where you come out with a white paper, you state a thesis, you raise capital into a cash shell, and you use that vehicle to go make investments under that thesis, and it's fully liquid and tradable day one. Why those are not ideal vehicles for venture is because not all businesses need to be traded freely and publicly. That's not the optimum structure for every business. You hear some true decentralists, of which I claim to be one, saying, not all of you guys should be blockchain. Just because blockchain is a sexy word doesn't mean you should all try to build your business on it. If you're not authentic to the blockchain, I agree. S stay away, because you're just using this as a gimmick to raise capital, and that's going to be bad for the entire industry. But if you are authentic to the blockchain, and you do truly have a value that can be uh, a, a business that can be more efficient on the blockchain and being and being settled with smart contracts, please join this party because this is a, this is a movement that you'll be proud to be a part of. When I took my SPAC public for eight hundred twenty-five million dollars in two thousand fourteen, I started to focus on the blockchain and started to look at it as an alternative way to raise capital. This is nothing new. Wall Street's been doing it for a long time. What do you think Uber would be trading at today if it was a publicly traded company? It wouldn't be pretty because Uber wasn't ready to be a public company. If you're not ready to be a public company, don't do this. Our business has been around since 2012. We've raised $12 million. We have 70 patents across 100 countries for social wagering. What that means is there is no house. 3% of the 97 3% is 90, you guys are going to get laughing at me about my math. This happened to me yesterday. $3 trillion is wagered annually on gambling, through gambling. 3% of that is in regulated markets, okay? $90 billion is regulated. That's a pretty sizable, addressable market. What better way to bring a traditionally murky space into light than on the blockchain and via smart contracts? Our, our platform and our patents cover the ability to place any wager in a peer-to-peer -peer way with no central authority, with no house. Why do I have to go to a, a corner bookie? Why do I have to go settle on a napkin with somebody what our bet is? Let's put this all in the open, bring this all into regulation, pay the taxes that we owe on it, and allow for this to be a regulated industry. The size of our marketplace is tremendous, and our IP also covers currencies and commodity bets, meaning if you want to bet on oil up or down, rainfall up or down, the next election, anything, we can place that on our platform. We're not just a hypothetical. Go to gofaceoff.com right now, and you can place a bet tonight. You can place a bet on a live event that's occurring, or you could propose a bet. 
My favorite one that I've seen thus far is somebody bet on um, points per game scored by Tristan Thompson, who used to be on the Cleveland Cavaliers, versus the birth weight of his child with Khloe Kardashian. You can propose any wager you want, and we can settle it in a legal way, legal in 39 U.S. states, and, uh, and soon to be across China and India. That's all you need to know about us. If you want to learn more about us, is my goal to be done before 10 minutes is up, and I've accomplished that. Uh, if there's any questions from the uh, investors here who haven't been able to stand up in a while, I'm, welcome, I'm, I'm happy to take them. Otherwise, you know where to find me. In here. So we're uh, in the process of uh, finalizing our private sale, which will be 50 cent tokens, um, which will raise 35 million US. We already have a lot of that committed. Um, and then we'll do a public sale for 10 million US at 75 cents. And then we'll be freely tradable at a dollar. And we're a token securities offering. We're not a utility token, we're a security. We're fully registered with the SEC, only to accredited institutional investors just like everyone else will soon be, and I encourage you to do so as well. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.